Hi, Dr. York. I'm uh, Josette Milner. You don't see me. You see Desiree, my daughter, and her daughter, Kada. But I want to thank you for letting us uh, have an extension. I had been ill, but now I'm much better. I had flu or something, <clears throat> but I'm getting over it now. So now, uh, take it away, Desiree. Hi, my name is Desiree. My volunteer today, as you know, is Kada. Um, she was a high school volleyball player from Notre Dame High School. So my capstone I'm going to discuss about is female injuries. And three main injuries of volleyball players are the knee, the fingers, and the ankle. So first, I would discuss about the fingers. So Kada will demonstrate when she's spiking the ball up. You see the flanges right here. If they put strain right here, it takes the strain on the fingers like this. Go ahead, put it down. And usually when you have a finger injury, you usually tape it on the injury finger. It's called like a finger brace, okay? And also you immediately you ice it and you automatically go straight to the hospital straight to get the medical attention that you need to get it well. Our second injury I'm gonna talk about is the ankle. The ankle injury right here. Sometimes that's known as the patellar tendency which is right up in here, okay? So that usually talks about when the blocker lands on a teammate's foot, or sometimes when a person is with their teammates or people are blocking, will cause the injury. And to prevent that is also take a brace. But for this ankle brace, it usually takes six months, but they prefer to have it for 12 months of the injury, okay? And then usually you improve it is by your spiking technique. And then the last one I, I will discuss is the knee injury, which is right here, the patella itself. And that's usually caused from like the inward of the trunk. I mean, the trunk, excuse me. The trunk uh, tends to be lateral, so it's called shifting. And then to make that feel better, what you do is not to have your, your volunteer, I mean, not to have your player swing to the side too much, also, you don't want them to not collapse to one side to the other. And if some, mostly what you have to do is have them in the flexion position. And then what you're gonna do is do like a jumping technique. So Kate is gonna demonstrate how to do the proper way of a jumping technique. So one and two. So that concludes of how you will prevent and how to rehab somebody when they have a volleyball injury. Thank you and have a good night.